check. On recording. Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Ines Alea from the creatorgalaxy.com space station. Here in space, we are experimenting with intergalactic filmmaking skills and visual effects. In today's video, it's a little bit more serious. I actually just got back from a trip to Tunisia and I see how everyone is so worried with this out there. So I was thinking to myself, how can we make a great looking virus spread simulation in Adobe After Effects? And of course, this is not going to be entirely accurate you have to play around with the actual data to to make it look as good as possible but this is just like a visualization of how a virus would spread across the world so this video is solely for educational purposes I'm not joking Rod so uh, we're going to jump in Adobe After Effects and see how it's done all right, so here we are in Adobe After Effects, and as you can see, I have this world map, which I found at pixabay.com, which provides you with royalty-free images, which you can download. And also, I will provide you with tutorial files, which you can also download, uh, which will provide you with a script, which we will be using in this video. Okay, so once you have this, we're going to create a new composition uh, and make it full HD. Call it main comp and around like 15 seconds should be okay. We're going to drag our map in our composition. And right here we have our map. Then we want to extract the background. So I'm going to apply the extract effect here and just key out the whites. You won't see any differences because in my case, the background is actually white. So I'm going to create a new black background and bring this below. Then on this layer, we want to apply a fill. And I'm going to make it a little bit like uh, dark blue. By the way, if you're wondering what this is right here, this is Effects Console from VideoCopilot.net. It's a free plugin for Adobe After Effects, which you can use uh, in After Effects to apply effects faster. That's why I'm using it in my videos. It's completely for free, so I'll put a link in the description below. I know a lot of people have been asking me in the previous videos. So yeah, here you go. So now if I solo this part, you will see if I turn on the transparency, we have our world map and then here we have our background. So this is exactly what we want. And I wanted to create this um, kind of like in a dark atmosphere because that looks a little bit nicer, nicer. Next, we want to create a new composition and this is going to be our fractal spread. Right here, I want to create a new solid layer and this is going to be fractal noise. And then I want to create another new layer. And this is going to be our circle spread. For the circle spread, we're going to choose our ellipse tool. We're going to select this layer. And in the center, I'm going to make a circle with control and shift. So we have a perfect sphere here. And there we go. Then I want to open up my mask options and click on the mask expansion settings here. Make sure we solo this layer so I can actually see what I'm doing here and make it go away like this. And then like at the end of the video, we want to kind of increase it quite a lot. Um, maybe something like this, or you can fill it. It's completely up to you. So now once you've done that, you can either give it a little bit of feather. And then we also want to apply a turbulence displace. In the turbulence displace, we can increase the complexity. Play with the size, however you would like it and also with the amount. So the amount is going to make it look a little bit more organic. And of course you can play with the evolution to see what you like, how the spread would start. So maybe it would start like this and then it's kind of growing, growing, growing and you have something like that going on. So this is already looking pretty good and we're going to expand it a little bit more at the end here. So now we have something like that. It's kind of an inked spread effect. <laughs> you can always add another turbulence effect like I did right here uh, if you want a little bit more detail or not and play around with these settings even more um, but that's completely up to you and then we get some kind of growing effect just like this and that's looking pretty good okay so this is going to feed our information of the fractal noise so what we want to do on this layer let's solo the fractal noise and apply fractal noise here we want to create a new pattern. So we're also going to increase the complexity quite a bit. So we have a lot more detail in there. And then we also want to play with the contrast 
also change the fractal type to a dynamic progressive and maybe invert it, something like that, and then bring down the brightness. And go to the beginning, click on the stopwatch for the brightness and go till the end and increase the brightness. And play with the contrast until you have something that you like. And we also want to clip the color, the overflow here. So now we have this growing and we can use this alpha mat from the circle that we just created and that way it's going to grow like our circle and show the fractal noise. Just make sure that you're also affecting it fast enough so we can actually bring this down a little bit and there we go. Another thing that you can do is also alt click on the stopwatch for the evolution here. Write time times 30 to have a smooth animation in the evolution because when you're working with video you always want some kind of animation whether it's a small zoom, whether it's a small displacement that you're, you're having or a, even noise uh, in your video. You don't want a video to look like an image. So that's why we're just upgrading this a little bit to make it look a little bit more organic. <laughs> All right, so now let's go back to our main composition and we're going to import our fractal spread into our main composition like so. And then we want to duplicate our map that we just keyed out, control D and bring it on top. And here we're going to do the same thing for the fractal spread. We're going to choose the track mat, alpha mat, and that way the fractal is only going to spread on the land and not on the sea because on the sea, yeah, we're not living there. So um, we don't want it to show there on the map. So if we're going to forward this, we can see right here a spread going on. If we wouldn't do that, we would see that it's also affecting uh, the C and it wouldn't look realistic. So this is looking pretty realistic and cool. So we can either press S on the keyboard, scale it down and reposition it to the area that you want to affect. And now we have something like that. Just make sure that your edges don't get cut off here. So we can either scale it up or you can go back into that composition and make sure that the spread here doesn't exceed the height and like that it doesn't affect anything else now we can click on these two layers make sure that you have both of them selected edit duplicate and then we want to click on the fractal spread here the new one and reposition this and maybe even offset it because it's coming later uh, for example then they said it moved to Italy so we want to kind of scale it down here and so it's starting here in China And obviously you don't want to affect everything because it's not yet affected everything. And also in some places over the world, people just don't live. You have like uh, the, the... You have, for example, the rainforest and stuff like that. So it's not really affecting there. Build it up exactly how you want and then select everything. Go to layer, pre-compose, virus, spread, effect. Click OK and there we go. Now what we want to do is apply a color to our virus spread to make it look a little bit nicer. Uh, so we're going for effect video copilot VC color vibrance, which is also a free plugin from video copilot. And we can maybe choose like a red color. And there we go. And also change the mode to screen. You can also apply curves. Put it before the color if you want to make it a little bit darker or give it a little bit more contrast. And then you can also add an adjustment layer and add the perfect glow to this layer, which you can find on our website for free. Uh, we'll put a link in the description below. Okay, and next what you want is also to add some uh, kind of counter to see how much um, people are already infected. So we're going to add a text uh, right here, infected. And then duplicate this one, move it over. And here we're gonna write zero. So currently uh, we have zero infected. And what we wanna do then is click on a zero and apply a point control. 
The reason I'm using a point control is we can also use um, a slider control, which can manipulate the value from zero to a higher amount. The only unfortunate thing with a slider control is that the maximum is 1 million and the maximum people on this planet are six or seven billion. So we want to go higher than a million and the point control allows us to do that. So I have the script prepared right here. We can open up this document. You can just copy this, control C, and then go into the text tool here, alt click on the source and paste it. So because we already applied the point control, it's going to already look at the effect point control. If you have a different language, all you have to do is effect and just select this until the zero and select your point control point. And that way uh, you're going to select the right effect. The zero stands for the first value right here. So it's going to look at the first value. And as you can see, we can set it to one billion and it has no problem. And also what the script does is adding a point or a comma uh, for your higher values. Otherwise it would be more difficult to read. So now what I want to do is click on the stopwatch for the point at the beginning, set it to zero, maybe move a little bit forward in time until we have something like uh, right here, maybe right now we have like 100 infect, 100,000 inf infected. And there we go. And then all the way at the end, we have maybe uh, 1 billion infected. So the count goes up, the spread is starting here. And all of a sudden it's really going pretty high. Obviously you play around with all the affection areas and when they come in and when they kick in. So uh, that's completely up to you. Play around with all the layer offsets and stuff like that until you have a result that you're satisfied with. So another thing that I've done is just add an adjustment layer. And here I added a transform. Zoom until 100. And 10, click on the keyframe, go all the way till the end, zoom out till 100. So we have a small zoom out. We can also add a optics compensation, apply that, reverse and 25 maybe, or 50. Maybe not a reverse, but something like this. And if you want the edges to, to be fixed, you can just easily add a motion tile, mirror the edges 125, 125 and bring this before the transform. And then also lastly is the chromatic aberration, VR chromatic aberrations. And I set this to like minus three, three, put this also on top. And now we get some kind of a little bit of a distortion on the map, which makes it look a little bit more detailed and a little bit more advanced. Either if you line the text right here or you would prefer it on top, you can just select these and bring it on top. So it's always, um, well, it's not moving with our image. That's completely up to you. Sometimes it's nice, sometimes it's not, but that's basically how to, but that's basically how to create a virus spread effect. Uh, I have to be honest, I felt a little bit weird about creating this video, but we want to share with the world how it's moving and how everything evolves over time. So uh, if you want to visualize that, this tutorial was for that. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give this video a like. Also be sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so you stay notified when we upload new videos. Also be sure to check out our website, creatorgalaxy.com and I'll see you in the next one. Take care and goodbye. By the way, have you seen our previous video? It's also related to maps. Uh, in that video, we're showing you how to travel across a map. Uh, if you're visiting, for example, a different country and you want to visualize that to your audience, how you're doing that from where you start, where you end and things like that. Or if you're following a treasure map, maybe you found something nice. Yeah, I'll put a card right here. Go check it out. My nose is itching since the start of this video. It's really something weird.